shave. Um, this is a total experiment in my little hotel room sized apartment. It's so exciting. Uh, no viewers right now, but what I do have to do before I do anything is wash my face. Every good shave starts with clean skin. <clears throat> Gotta clean the skin. Every good shave. God, it's so crazy. Hello to my one viewer. I'm having a shave here. And, uh, oh, my first shave since vacation started. <clears throat> it feels nice, so thank you, whoever you are, for tuning in. So, um, Today I'm gonna to do a brush shave, which means I'm gonna do a brush shaving cream. Like this. This is how I do it. Save water, don't let that run. Oh. This is gonna feel good. I'm all about shaving in 2021. I think we should like the era of the bro beard. I'm hoping we can shut the door on it, right? There we go. There we go. Good coverage, good coverage. Mm. There we go. This is such a grand experiment. Wow, I'm doing this. There are absolutely zero viewers as I shave live. So, so far the experiment is a wash. That's exciting. Oh, God. One should really shave in a... Uh, Portrait mode. Good morning, good morning. There's a comment coming in. That's cool. So I shave with the uh, I use a uh, safety razor. This is my preferred blade of choice. I'm a big fan of safety razors because there's no plastic waste. Ooh. And it's clean, it's all metal, you know? And it does the job at extremely... Sunday boss, oh, you've been there the whole time. I'm sorry I didn't see you there. It's just you and me, baby. Um, Cause I do these live videos. I do the morning shave on Twitter. And the thing is, not everybody's got Twitter, but everybody has access to YouTube. And then why not shift the shave show over to YouTube, right? My hair is off. <laughs> Thank you, I haven't had a haircut in so long. Um, I'm gonna try to read the comments there as they pop up. It's hard to do without my glasses on. See, I'm Bossy Sunday on Twitter. Oh, nice to see you, Bossy Lady Sunday on Twitter. All right, thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to move the morning shave show. Uh, to this channel right here on YouTube. Oh, I got two viewers. Oh my God, the excitement. Um, so it's Wednesday the 23rd, I've taken the dogs out. I'm gonna take a little field trip right now. Uh, out and about, I'm gonna go, uh, I think I'm just gonna go out into my city and take some pictures. I have some writing to do. 
Oh, this feels good. There's nothing quite like a shave after you haven't shaved for a couple of days because you give your skin a chance to, you know, your skin has had plenty of time to recover from the last shave, which is especially important if your skin is very sensitive. But also, the rays are just, here's just everything. I just comment and retweet you off and you and Rex are my regular, oh, thank you. Um, I, Rex Chapman is such a great guy. Um, Rex does Twitter like no other. Rex is, Rex is excellent at Twitter because he'll do, you know, serious political commentary stuff and he mixes it in with really fun things. Like he always puts up a feel good video, which I appreciate. Ah. Uh. How could you imagine? I must have seen conspiracy theories falsely convinced millions the election was rigged. They also sent a man into hiding. Now he's speaking out. That's an NPR alert on my phone. Wow. Okay. I'll have to look into that story. Ah, but. Oh, this feels good. I do love a shave. Yeah, Rex Chapman is wonderful. And Rex has been extremely generous. I mean, I, Rex likes my tone and my humor and stuff like that, which is nice. And I love his, God, there's no not loving Rex Chapman. And he's been extremely helpful in amplifying my nonsense. Rex and you together have made Twitter better. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. I will pass that on to him. Uh, yeah, he's a good follow. He was my, one of my favorite discoveries. Uh, one of my favorite um, Twitter discoveries this year. I've had a few. Uh, oh, this feels good. This is one of the, I don't understand the beard thing. I understand the beard thing because you can get lazy and you just kind of go, oh, well, I won't shave and I'll just go with this because it's easier than shaving, I suppose. But man, like when you do it, it's just, uh, when you do the shave, it, uh, it feels so good. And I love, Let's see. I think this is the third time I'm watching you shave live. <laughs> well, thank you for being uh, tuning in for the third time and pass the word. You know, I'm going to do. Usually, I shave when I do it live. It's like seven in the morning, but I'm I'm on vacation now. And what you see behind me is what's that in the bed behind? That's Lenore's butt. Yeah, I think I'm going to move the morning shave to here, YouTube. And I should do a set time, you know, and then listen to my NPR up first podcast and get my headlines so we have something to talk about every day, right? Uh, I did put a track of the day up on Twitter today, my track of the day. You know, it's Christmas time, and my track of the day is uh, Blue Christmas, done by... Uh, Jackie Gleason and his orchestra. God, it's super torchy, but it's really beautiful. Uh, safety razor, cut you, George. Ah, oh, for me, I always get a little bit one. My hair grows very weird right around here, like on all men, like, you know. I can just get a little speedy and careless. The thing with a safety razor as opposed to like a cartridge razor with 98 blades on it. You should be a little more careful. And not only that, I've always had sensitive skin. Let's see. I love you. Thank you for saying, uh, can you live stream YouTube and Twitter at the same time? I'm going to look into that. See, I love that. Yes. And I've noticed that too. I'm going to look into that. Thank you for the tip. Um, I have extremely sensitive skin. Uh, and I've used every shaves cream and razor under the sun, except for a cutthroat razor, um, a straight razor. Uh, I've used expensive creams and inexpensive ones. Uh, and um, I keep getting alerts on the phone. 
I don't know, it's just my skin, you know? And every guy has his thing. Like, I, I marvel, some men seem to have like such really nice, you know, they look so good with a clean shave and it looks like their skin, you know, knows how to take a razor and not look like minced meat after a shave. Uh, I'm gonna do a close shave today, as if I'm gonna do drag later, <laughs> which I'm not. Okay. Couldn't spell simultaneously. Check uh, StreamYard for the simultaneous streaming. I will. See, my husband hates shaving and I'm not a fan of facial hair. Oh, tell your husband to get into shaving. This is one of my favorite rituals. Now, if I were really getting spiritual about it, you know, I get a nice scented candle in here. Put on some music. I'd put on music now, but I don't think I can do that in terms of copyright and licensing on YouTube Live. Okay. And there's that area right there. You know, my skin, it's like a, you know, it grows in a bunch of different directions. My hair grows like down there. So it's hard to get that area without cutting something. It happens all the time. Oh, just did it again. And I think we're good. And then do the peach fuzz on the cheeks over there. Be very careful around the nostrils. Oh, that's a bitch. Mm. You hear it? <laughs> and we're good, I think. Okay. This blade I have in my safety razor right now is good for probably about two, maybe three more shaves. Uh, let's see, looking good. Yeah, thanks, we're good. Like, you know, and I'm gonna get in the shower and by the time I'm done showering and all the steam and everything and then I rinse my face with cold water, the bleeding will have stopped. On the rare occasion, I'll have to put like a little tissue paper up there, but that doesn't happen often. Huh? There we go, got it. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve. You know, this would be a day when I was a young boy growing up in the suburbs of Cleveland, Ohio. This would be a, um, let's see, we need you to have your own show. I would love to have my own show. I think I'm going to have to do all the heavy lifting on that. Um, but this was like Christmas, the eve of Christmas Eve. Like that was almost like even more anticipation, right? Um, today is Christmas, Adam. Cute. And, uh. You know, this is people from out of town start coming in. And I love that, you know, because growing up in Cleveland, I always, like, deep down, what I didn't know at the time is that I wanted to get out. Um, and, uh... I loved it when people from out of town, like my siblings and stuff, my older siblings, when they would come in. Okay, we're good. I also mind the eyebrows, get the extra long strays, like that one. Oop, that one's a long one too. There we go, gotcha. Ooh, it's like a fucking cat whisker up there. Yeah, mind the eyebrows. Just the super long ones to see. Sarah Cooper got a show. Uh, you don't need to do heavy lifting for that. You have a lot of us. Oh, thank you, you're very sweet. For that, um, I've never collaborated with. I'm working on a collaboration now with somebody on something different. It's not really for me, um, but uh, which I'm enjoying. It's, it's fun to think about somebody else <laughs> besides myself. Oops, I cut a little close there. No, it's good actually. A great way around this is to use a comb. Are we good over here? Oh, we are actually pretty good. Some barbers will do this for you, but I don't trust... I used to have a barber who liked to trim my eyebrows and I did not like the shape. Like, I was just like... I had to stop him from doing them. Um, yes, I have done voiceovers. Thank you for suggesting that I have a voice that could. I have. I haven't done enough of them. It's hard to break into that. I would love to do voiceovers. 
if I could make my living doing voiceovers and doing like, you know, working in media, you know, that would be my favorite, right? Rinse out the sink. I keep a spare little side towel here to wipe things up because we like a nice tidy bathroom. A clean bathroom is a happy bathroom. That's right. And then I'm gonna jump in the shower. Let's see, what about an ASMR? What is that? I don't even know what that means. You're speaking in code. Um, all right, so there we go. All right, I am done with the shave. And then I gotta go run some errands and make some rounds. I might take my, let's see. All right, I should put on my glasses so I can read some of the nice things that you guys are saying here. Uh, an old family friend, Melanie Chartoff, does voiceovers. You'd know of her and acts. Melanie Chartoff? I know Melanie Chartoff. Was she in Parker Lewis Can't Lose? That far too short-lived show on Fox in the early 90s. She played like the principal or something. Yeah, I remember Melanie Chartoff. I think she's great. I always thought Melanie Chartoff was really underrated. So if you know her, tell her I love her and I think she's cool as fuck. Yeah, she was the principal. I forget her name, but Parker Lewis Can't Lose. That was a fun show, far too short lived. And I think it was, I believe it was on Fox. Yeah, tell Melanie Chartoff that George Hahn is a big fan. I just remember hearing her on that show, Parker! Yeah, she was such a great villain. Uh, yes, I am on Instagram. My handle is George Hahn. Um, Kyle, there you are. Oh my God, what's up, motherfucker? No, I didn't. Uh, I did a little bit. I cut myself every day. I always nick myself every day after a shave. It's just how it shakes out. I mean, I have very sensitive skin. Um, and even with like, you know, the most expensive multi-blade cartridge razors, I was always nicking myself. There was no getting around it. Uh, for me and my super baby sin. Um, gonna reach out to you about Melanie if you want. Oh, please do. I think, again, like, how, what, a, what a pleasure. I always thought Melanie Chartoff was so fun on that show. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right, I gotta jump in the shower. Thanks for tuning in. This is a grand experiment, the morning shave, which I've done in the afternoon because it's about 12.32 right now. And uh, I'm gonna change my bed sheets over there. Lenore's going to have to get up. I see her laying down over there. And then uh, I was listening to, by the way, anybody who knows me knows um, that I am a huge fan of podcasts. And I just started to get acquainted with Preet Bharara's podcast. I'm just listening. And this latest episode he has on. Uh, Rachel Maddow on, and I just started listening to their conversation before I started to shave. So I'm going to turn that back on and listen to it. I think Preet Bharara is one of the smartest voices working in media today. Such an inspiration. Great New Yorker. He's a fan of city living. Um, yeah, I like how that brain works a lot. He's a smart guy. Let's see. I'll send her a note and reach out to you. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. And um, yeah, I'm, in, I'm so into Preet. So I'm going to go get some more Preet into my system I'm going to heat up a cup of coffee and clean up, and then I got to bust. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. This was an experiment. And what I was wondering is, like, should I do this widescreen like I'm doing it now, or would I do it tall, but, like, YouTube is, you know, can you watch YouTube videos on, like, an iPhone in long format as opposed to wide like I'm doing it? I would kind of prefer to do it. Yeah, wide is better for YouTube, I think. But can you do it long ways too? Like people look at Instagram, IGTV. Widescreen is good. All right, so we like it widescreen. Widescreen is more professional, I agree. But I'm also thinking about how people use their phones and people hold their phones like a phone. You know, because I do, you can do Instagram TV, IGTV you can do in wide as well for longer form stuff. Alec Baldwin started shooting his stuff for a second in wide. Maybe he's still doing it. I love his daily rants. Uh, turn it now, it won't. When I turn my phone and I turn it now, it says YouTube, look at this, it goes like, orientation is locked, rotate device back. So I'm just learning the ways of YouTube. I can do this, I know how to do this on, um, let's see, the thing about portrait on YouTube is you can't comment, I see. All right, so we'll keep it this way, all right, cool. <clears throat> what I should do is just get a little suction mount for my mirror so that I can just stick the phone on my mirror. Right now it's on a tripod. 
Um, yeah, this is all a great experiment. All right. I will see you freaks later. Thanks so much. Uh, keep it sassy. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Social, all the things we're supposed to do. All right. And uh, I'll see you later. And oh, so for me, um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. All right. Bye for now.